Hi everyone, Tom Vogel back with you with our Wrestling's Finest PC Pro Wrestling game. And as we continue our series of Wrestling's Finest videos, tonight I am going to show you how to set up a tournament. And uh, it's a pretty cool feature. It was added with version 2 that was released last summer. Kind of uh, went hand in hand with uh, Create Your Match Card, which we did on our previous video. One thing I want to uh, show, it's kind of not not something I want to take a whole video to so I thought I would just throw it in here uh, we have a feature in the game it's called uh, wrestling intangible check if you notice here we have uh, completed the video for singles match tag team match battle royal we didn't do the tag team battle royal because you know we had done the battle royal we've done the Royal Rumble we manage wrestler sets where you can create your own custom sets. The one thing on here we have not completed yet is called the Wrestling Card Intangible Check. And how it works, pretty simple, but you have to agree to two things. One, you have to have your card completely set up and ready to go. Whether you create a card within the game or you just write it down on a piece of paper. You have to have your card set up. Second rule is, if you get a result, you might not like it. You really should honor it. If you don't honor it, what's the point of uh, of using this feature? Uh, my little brother actually came up with this idea several years ago, and we uh, had a, Gary was able to incorporate it. Did a really good job with it with the version two. Um, basically, you're you're throwing a curveball. Possibly, it's rare that it will come up, but it can. And what it means is you have your card set some intangible event comes that forces you as the promoter to either change your card or the next time you come to this town you're gonna have to give the fans a little extra because something went a little haywire that the fans probably are not going to be happy about so how it works is this pretty simple you have your card set up you're ready to go and before your first match you click the wrestling card intangible check and here's the screen for that so here we're at the intangible, uh, match intangible check. Uh, very simple, uh, roll dice to determine what possible events could affect tonight's wrestling card. So we're going to roll the dice here. And again, the odds are very slim we're going to have any type of goofy event, I guess. Not sure what you did, but everything is all set to go. Telling us that the card is going to go on without a hitch. Some of the events that can occur, we can have car trouble, uh, people can miss a show, they can be, del be delayed, you could have a skirmish in the locker room, you could have um, the show gets canceled because of a weather storm, um, therefore the fans are very upset because they didn't know about it in time and that's why you're going to have to make it up to them next time. And it tells you what you're going to have to do the next time you come to town. Um, you could have a, a injury you weren't aware of that changes the card. And by changing the card, what I mean is, is you're going to have to substitute wrestlers. There's even one event where somebody walks out on your promotion, and it will tell you who it is based on the match. It might say the uh, heel who's in the third match of the evening um, has such and such occur. You know, might be an emergency at home. So you have to be prepared. Um, again, it will rarely happen, but when it does, you're going to have to really put your thinking cap on. So after, since we've explained that, let's get out of this. We'll go back to our game screen and um, let us go to create a new tournament. Okay, we're here at the tournament, create tournament screen. Again, very easy to do, we're going to select the type of name and uh, you're going to select type in a name for the tournament and I'm going to call mine this is going to be for Georgia I'm going to call it the Georgia Brass Nux title tourney okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to, to tournament type it's going to be singles you could go tag team but we're going to go singles Tournament size, we're going eight wrestlers. Now, you can go up to 16. Uh, th this was something Gary and I thought long and hard about. We decided to go with the 16 so we can keep it all on one page. Uh, I know some, I've played some other sports games where you have to either go to multiple screens or the print is so small you can't read it. 
So if you want to do a 16-man or tag team tournament or 64-man, basically you just pick, you just have four 16-minute bracket, men bracket tournament. What I like to do is once I get it down to the final four from each one, then I'll just create a new tournament bracket, just uh, do a 16 man bracket and then you know we're good to go so for now we're going to do singles tournament uh eight man and we're going to now we have to uh choose what wrestler set and we're going to do uh georgia and i'm going to pick eight wrestlers for my brass knucks so we got one i'm going to go tony atlas he's a tough guy we're going to go leroy brown trying to have some guys in the uh, territory that I'm going to use that I actually have been using for the territory. We're going to go Ernie Ladd. So that's four. We're going to go Wahoo McDaniel. That makes five. We're going to go Ken Strongman Kenny Patera to make six. We're going to go Butch Reed to make seven. And we're going to go Dirty Dick Slater to make eight. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add the wrestlers to the tournament. There's our eight wrestlers. Now, very neat feature here. Each gamer has their own philosophy, what they like to do in tournaments. If you have, say, a double count out or a draw, double DQ, cut stoppage, or no contest. In other words, you do not get a winner. Uh, I'm old school. If you have a double, if you have any match that ends and without having a winner declared on all five of the uh, possibilities where you don't have a winner are listed there, I like to eliminate them both. That's just the way I do it. Um, I know others don't like to do that. They would rather redo the match, um, maybe even flip a coin, go by stamina, whatever. So what we did here is uh, we came up with a system where each gamer can choose. So if you have a double count out, you can base the winner on stamina off must replay the match both are eliminated that's the tom vogel style or manual will ask you which wrestler would advance and maybe a flip a coin i don't know so for mine i go both eliminated for all of them it's just the way i prefer to do it but again you know each their own what they want to do um so we got both eliminated and then we're going to set the initial brackets to set by pressing the set bracket button. So here we go. And you'll notice they come up randomly. Now, if you wanted to change the, say you wanted to do your own bracketing. Uh, in other words, say I wanted to make, um, say I thought that Ernie Ladd should be the number one seed. All I have to do is drag him up to Wahoo's spot and then Wahoo goes here. So. I'm going to go back to the way it was because I want it to be completely random. We're going to have Wahoo McDaniel versus Tony Atlas, Butch Reed versus Kenny Patera, strongman Kenny Patera, Ole Anderson versus Ernie Ladd, and then Leroy Brown versus uh, Dirty Dick Slater. So once we hit done, this will be our tournament that is set up for us. So we're going to click done, and now our tournament is ready to go. We're going to hit save. And so now the uh, Georgia Brass Knucks title tourney tournament are complete. So we're going to click OK. So what I what I did there was I had to resize uh, everything. When you're back at the main game directory, and I will show this when we're done, you just simply click Play Tournament. And then whatever tournaments you have saved will come up. And this is the only one I had. So we're ready to go. So... We're going to run the first match here with Wahoo and Tony. We're going to go ahead and click Start Next Match. And what we're going to do is you'll see it automatically has our two wrestlers uh, selected. And I'm going to go ahead and let the computer control both. They're both faces. Remember, we went through that, so we'll click OK. Okay, we're here at our game screen. So we have everything selected. And what we're going to do is we're still going to do our match setup. And we're going to change the match type. And what we're going to make this um, as a specialty match, we're going to call it. We're going to make this, uh, let's call this the, why don't we go Bunkhouse Boot Camp? 
that's going to be very close to what we want for our match. So we're going to go done. A bunkhouse match extraordinary. Then what we're going to do is we're going to set DQ rules. And since you can't get, you're not worried about getting DQ'd in this, we're just going to click cancel. Then what we're going to do is we're no champion. We're going to set uh, time limit. And for all these matches, we're going to set them for a third. Let's go 60 minutes to make them real tough guys in this. So we'll go okay. And then the other thing we are going to do is, um, and we'll do that in just a second here. We're going to go ahead and go to our trade moves, uh, trade hold recommendations next. Okay, here uh, at this screen is our traded moves. No suggestions for Wahoo. We are going to trade the. We're going to trade one for uh, Tony Atlas. We're going to trade his. I'm actually going to do the. You know what? I'm just going to cancel out. I like the moves Tony has, so we're just going to leave it alone for this one. One thing we are going to do though, we are going to uncheck the box because this allows more. Uh, outside ring action and since we're not going to have DQs we don't really care so this would be an example where you want to uncheck the box so we're going to go okay Wahoo's going to also uncheck the box for his preference we're going to go okay and so we are done with that so we're going to go ahead and get this match started now there's our prediction uh, it looks like Wahoo gets the nod for this one we're going to go ahead and start. Tony Atlas, auto control loss, legal chop by Wahoo. Action for a boot camp match. Strangles opponent with his belt, 20 off. We get to avoid the DQ, so Wahoo has control. He decides to use punches. Big chop for Wahoo. He gets a one count, and that will be it for this attempt. Wahoo going for a specialty move. Pile drivers countered. Atlas, suplex. And he can't get the one count quite yet. Uh, we have a whip into the ropes. Again, can't have the DQ, so Tony's just going to wail away with punches. We have an auto control loss by Tony. Wahoo has his kick countered. Tony Atlas, strategy card, specialty match action. Uh, he used his uh, outside help card, or outside ring card. Tony Atlas strangles opponent with his belt. We have a submission, but we're going to cancel it since Wahoo's a zero. Uh, we got a body slam coming. Tony, 20, gets a one, two, and not able to get the three. Kicked by Tony, whip into ropes by Tony. Back comes Wahoo. Another stomp by Wahoo. No action. Body slam by Tony. Tony with a suplex, one. No pin. You'll notice uh, Wahoo's already into his next stamina level. No, I'm hurrying through this because I want to show you what happens when we get one of our tournament matches done. So I'm kind of speeding through this. Tony, clothesline, uh, specialty move. Gets a one, two, and way easy for Wahoo to kick out. Pile driver for Tony does not get the one there. Uh, it looks like we get a side roll by Tony. One, two, and he's not able to get the three count. Wahoo with a big chop. Going for a special to be flying chop. Tony's in trouble. One, and he got to the ropes. Atlas has his rope move countered. We have a Cobra, but we're going to cancel it because the third submission rating is zero. Wahoo, small package. You'll notice now Tony's in his second stamina level. Wahoo, another special to move. Pile driver, one, two, and he can't get the three. Both wrestlers still pretty strong, so hard to get the pins early on. Wahoo, turnbuckle smash. Wahoo, five off. Cross face neck hold. Wahoo has a suplex counter. Tony coming off with a flying forearm, and he can't get the one count. Disqualify check. Again, not going to happen, so you keep going. Uh, Tony cheap shots Wahoo by punching and kicking him, ignoring the order to break. Tony's specialty move is countered, and you'll notice Wahoo's now up to his second stamina level. Um, 
Tony winning the stamina battle at this point. Headlock by Wahoo. Kicked by Wahoo. Chopped by Wahoo. But you can't get the pin. No action. No action again. Tony he gets to use open, some sliced wide open. specialty match action. And he uh, punches way with his tape fist. 15 off plus a cut on Wahoo. Some serious damage there. Tony taking control here. He was open, Another cut. Open. Wahoo's in trouble, folks. Look at Wahoo's up to 40, 37, 2. Tony gets a move countered. Wahoo has a pin hold countered. Tony has a punch countered. Wahoo with a kick. With a snap mare. Another kick. Big throat chop. Another series of throat chops. Tony uh, sees it coming, and so we have an auto control loss. Leg hold on Wahoo. Leg across Wahoo. Tony makes a mistake. Wahoo makes a mistake. And we have a big suplex by Tony. One, two, and Wahoo powers out. Uh, throat chop by Tony. Punches away, tape fists again. Inside cradle. One, two. And he can't get the three. Tony's taking control here. Uh, another mistake by Wahoo. Neck hold by Tony. Legal headbutt. One. Two. And he still can't get him down. Uh, barely above the belt. And Wahoo makes the ropes. But he's in danger of getting to his next stamina level. Countered. Wahoo needs a little comeback. You'll see the stamina way different here now. Wahoo with a, looks like a body press. One. Two. And he can't get the three. Submission by Tony. Kick. You look at Wahoo's pin rating. 40-47. He's in a world of hurt. Punches by Tony. Military slam. Wahoo. He's in deep trouble. 40-40-36. One. Two. And three. And he gets three. Tony Atlas, your winner. Pinned. That was actually a very good match, folks. Tony Atlas advances to the next round. So, we can go up here now. We'll go to tournaments. And we're going to uh, play tournament. And you'll notice here it goes right away to your next uh, match on here. Um, I, I'm not going to take time to... Uh, resize it but right where my cursor is you can see cancel and then right to the right of that is start next match so if i box it in you would see all that but the next match now it automatically goes to yellow it would be butch reed versus ken patera and then the winner of that match will move on to face tony atlas so all of this is automatically kept track for you i lied i went ahead and sized it up just so you could see everything here so uh Butch Reed will face Ken Patera. Now, if let's say that match ends in a double countout or a double DQ with Reed and Patera, neither wrestler then would advance. You would see the spot there that's highlighted in yellow that doesn't have a name pointed out here. That would stay blank, and that would mean that Tony Atlas would automatically move uh, to the championship round. Now, um, the other beautiful thing with this is you can print your bracket out if you want to keep it. You know, you can actually print it and then do it by hand as you go. Or when it's all done, you can print it to have a record of it. Um, the other thing here, if you uh, go up here, um, it has different, like here we have the Georgia Brass Knucks, uh tourney. These are my other tournament names. These are some of the test ones I've done in the past. So if I wanted to go back to one of these, all I'd have to click it. In other words, you don't have to complete your tournament in one setting. So if I wanted to cancel this uh, and just do a regular match, I could do that. I went ahead and I canceled the tournament. I wanted to show you a couple things. Um, when you do a tournament, all you have to do is hit play tournament. And I, I forgot to uh, mention the... Uh, shortcut all you have to do is hit f4 so once one of your tournament matches ends and you just want to go directly to the next one 
you just have to hit F4 on your keyboard and it will advance to the next match. Now, let's see here. If I go F4, there we go. I just hit F4 and boom, we're right there. Um, before each match, you know, you do have to remember to make your match settings. Um, you know, how, what type of rules you want for the match. So um, we, we set that up intentionally just so... Uh, prior to each match, if you know you wanted to, you know, set something up a little differently, you could. Now, let's say you didn't want to do the tournament anymore, and you just wanted to run a different match. You could just go wrestle, start new singles match. I can get my cursor where I wanted, and boom, just start playing matches. You could run a couple. Then, if you wanted to go right back to your tournament, you could. Uh, so that's our tournament. I I hope you. Uh, I got a little bit out of that for those of you that do have the game. The the tournament is a very neat feature. You know, I know a lot of people do use it, and you know, I use it for my tournaments. I like to have a record of it if I want to refer back. So um, that will conclude this video. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure what our next video will be. I think I'm going to actually uh, run some matches in my Georgia replay, and I'll actually run them for the first time. Uh, and, you know, if you're interested, you can follow along. And, I, you know, I do new, have some other features I do want to show you, and I haven't decided if I'll just intermingle those while I'm running a match or if I'll make separate videos for that. But in any case, I really, truly do appreciate you joining in on these videos, and I hope you continue to do so. And with that, I will bid good night until the next time. Thanks again, everyone. Next week, Gordon's only saying so long from the Sunshine State.